Hey guys, in today's tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to sync up your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch to your computer. So this is the first time I'm syncing up this iPad and we're just going to click on OK once you open up iTunes. iTunes is free. You can download it from Apple.com. Uh, it's free for both Mac and PC. So this message, you might get it, you might not get it. Uh, in most cases you should and uh, we're just waiting for the iPad to allow access so you have to have your screen on for your iPad and on your iPad you're gonna see trust this computer and you're supposed to click on trust okay so that's on your iPad so make sure the screens on at this moment on your iPad or iPhone or iPod touch and you're gonna tap on trust if you don't tap on that it's never gonna sync up okay um, once you do that okay you're gonna just wait till you see a little drawing here pop up. So it might be an iPad, iPhone, or iPod Touch. It's the same thing. You will see the icon right here. Now, if it's the first time that you're syncing up, be aware that you're gonna lose all the music that's on your iTunes, on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. And it's gonna replace with the library, with the music from this iTunes, okay? So if it's the same iTunes that you've used before, don't worry about it. If this iTunes has the exact same music that you ha already have on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch, once again, you don't have to worry. Um, it's just gonna all be the same. But if you have different music here, that's gonna replace it. So I'm gonna click on my iPad right now. So once you tap on the icon, this should open up and you will see these options. Now, if you did everything right, then you should have everything on iCloud. However, we want a secondary backup. So don't worry, uh, your iCloud will not be erased. You still have your iCloud backup if you've done it. And uh, so you don't have to worry about that. This just means that you're doing it on right now. And later on, we can just turn this back on. And that's it. Then there you have two backups and you don't have to worry about anything. Anyways, uh, what you guys have to do is just click on apply. Once again, music will be erased and replaced by this music on this computer. So we're just going to click on apply. Okay, so this tells you exactly what I told you. And we're just going to press erase and sync. You might get this message also that purchases will be transferred over to your library. That's fine. You can just transfer those. And it's going to start up syncing. You shouldn't have any problems. It's a good idea to sync up, especially if you have some apps that are just stuck. Some just get grayed out and you can't delete them, you can't restart them. Or, well, you, you can try restarting them on Apple and you can go to the Apple Store and, and check out the apps and then just try to restore them, try to stop them, try to refresh them. However, some are just stuck. So this is the best way to actually fix that problem as well. Um, this is a good way to keep a good backup and also the best way to restore you, whatever you have, whether you have an iPad, or iPhone, or iPod Touch, the best way it, it is to restore with this, especially if you have a gel broken from before, um, they can't get stuck. And uh, even if your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch is stuck right now, you can restore it with iTunes. So if in, even if it becomes stuck with iTunes, the good thing is that with iTunes, you can just do it again and you can press restore and that's it. Okay guys, so you might get a message something like this that you have to authorize your computer. So just make sure to authorize your iTunes, so just click on OK, it's alright. And then you go up here where it says store and make sure to authorize. So you can just uh, deauthorize this account or authorize this computer. So we're going to authorize it right now. If you get a message like this saying that you can authorize more than five computers, that's okay. All you guys have to do is go back to store and you guys have to go into So once you guys go into this which is again you guys have to just view account once you go into view account make sure to deauthorize all the other ones that you have don't worry you can authorize them back again and it's going to be easy right now I'm not sure why I have 5 already authorized but we're going to deauthorize them all so we're going to deauthorize all computers. There we go. And from there we can just go back to our iPad. And we can authorize this computer. Once you authorize your computer, everything should sync up. The 11 ones should be fine. And um, right now you should get a message like this if you had to do this process. For now, I would suggest syncing it up again. 
So just press sync down here below and there you go. Um, with syncing iPad or iPhone iPod Touch over Wi-Fi, don't suggest it just because um, there have been problems with that, still not that great, so I wouldn't do it myself. Um, and you do have other options here, so if you don't want your entire library to sync up, you might just want the checked songs that you check up and you sync um, to be the ones that only sync. You might want your whole entire library, then you don't need to check that on. But uh, apart from that, your guys are good to go. From now on, you guys can just uh, restore your backup from here, okay, because you have a backup right now. Um, you can press back up now, for example, which is almost the same thing as sync. Um, for apps, I'm not sure if you guys should back up your apps. It, it will take some space on your computer, so I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm not gonna back up my apps because those are just over your iCloud, and uh, you don't really need to back those up here. Okay, you can back up everything else. However, apps might not just because your iCloud uh, it doesn't take up your five gigs okay once you back up your apps there um, they might take up a little bit of space only the ones that you have some information in them apart from that they won't take up much space in your iCloud however in here they will take a couple gigs okay because some apps are pretty big so I have a bunch of apps and therefore I'm not gonna sync them up because it's just too much I know it's gonna take about 10 gigs and I don't want to waste 10 gigs from my computer um, that's it for this syncing up guys once you're done syncing you're good to go your apps should be restored um, and from here you can restore your iPad you can update it as well and you can do a bunch of stuff one quick note um, on the side you're gonna see apps music in your apps uh, from down here if you click on any of these ones right here so if you downloaded stuff and you have uh, your file master for example that's an app you can just take out any of the documents from in here and just pass them to your computer okay you can or you can just drag and drop anything here as well for um, files and stuff like that also for your music you can always check or uncheck this part same goes for movies and TV shows. We're just gonna scroll down all the way to says photos. On photos, I wouldn't sync photos this way, okay? Unless you have a PC, then sync up your photos this way. Other than that, don't sync them this way if you have a Mac because you already have your photos app, and that's way that's the way you should sync up your photos and using Photo Stream. Uh, Photo Stream is also available for PC or Windows, so I would use Photo Stream more than just syncing this way. Uh, however, once again, PC. Yes, you can check this off. Mac, don't do it. You'll get duplicates of your pictures and things like that, so you don't want that. Um, tones, yes. Books, mm, I wouldn't. Uh, TV shows, music, well, that's up to you what you guys want to sync up. Anyways, that's it for this tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them here below. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.